CBSD with you. Tutorial on gaming. GhostBSD is an essential part of the BSD ecosystem. It's considered to be the easiest and most user-friendly BSD-based OS available, and it's gone from strength to strength since its initial release way back in 2010. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Well, we're on a freshly installed GhostBSD session on my DC5700. It's not the most powerful computer, but on uh, with GhostBSD it runs very well. Um, there's nothing much has changed. Really, 19.10 was a, it was a, I wouldn't say minor uh, update, but it's one which you don't have to reinstall your system for, just do for the normal update processes. But if you're a new user, then the point ten will actually make a big impact. We'll just have a quick look at the system resources being used. And we'll go to the terminal and we'll just use top. Just to compare and contrast the, the two ways of measuring memory. If you go to the system monitor, it'll tell you 739 megabytes being used, but top will tell you 372, and it's that's the real value. And there's, yeah, relatively yeah, half and half CPU uses going on. Right, so GhostBSD 1910 uses FreeBSD 12.1 pre-release. And there's my DC5700 CPUs. We'll have a quick look at what's available in the in the uh, installed applications. You got Character Map, uh, Archive Manager, Calculator, Font Viewer, Search Tool, Plank, Pluma, and Screenshot Util. You got LibreOffice Math, uh, Eye of Mate, LibreOffice Draw, Color Selection, and Shotwell. Firefox, of course, Thunderbird, and Transmission. You got Atrill, LibreOffice, and a Dictionary Utility at the bottom there, which is always actually quite useful. Uh, Brazero, Rhythmbox, Simple Screen Recorder, which I added, uh, a sound uh, config and VLC player. You've got Kaja, Deconf Editor, Log File Viewer, uh, Disk User Analyzer, System Monitor, uh, Terminal, and Power Statistics. In places, you've got Home, Desktop, Computer, Network, Connector Server, Search Tool, and Recent Documents, but because we haven't been on here before, there isn't any. And you've got Preferences, which is Hardware, Displays, Keyboard, etc., Preferences for your network. Look and feel. And personal. All these things are available in the uh, in the control center. Print settings and software station and software update station. You've got the control center. And like I say, these everything available in the menus is available in your control center, just in case you want an all-in-one. Then you've got your about, your lock screen, log out, etc. Speaking of your control center, right, in the control center, uh, the update station, so we'll see what's uh, available to update the system. And there you are, there's some updates available. Mm, okay, we'll run it. And it's always useful when you install a new system to uh, grab the latest updates. Bugs fixes. Right, we'll just skip to the end, and we have to restart. So I'll restart it again. We'll, uh, I'll carry on when it's logged back in. There we go. So we're all nicely updated. I'll tell you, we're on Mate one point two two point one. It's all very nice. And open the terminal. And just to show you that we're on FreeBSD 12.1 uh, pre-release. There we go. So you've got your clock and calendar, your network, your volume, and simple screen recorder notification, and the usual applications uh, menu which we've already looked at. So it's laid out pretty much as you'd expect in a uh, Mate system. I'm just going to do a bit of customizing here. I'm just gonna, I actually like the uh, these particular folders on the, this side because I'm strange like that. 
I'll just rename that. Change the wallpaper. Oh, there are some very nice um, nature shots. I like this one. Reminds me of something out of a Tim Burton film. Right, let's have a look. Uh, we'll have a look at um, Lever Office, especially the writer. I like how it comes already installed. So right out the the box, really, Ghost PSD is set up uh, for you to get things done with. It's very nice. Uh, first run notification. Click on. I don't want to click OK on it and get rid of that. And this is the version if you can, if you want to know. Six point three point two point two. And it's your standard LibreOffice. It's very nice. So yeah, you get the full suite available, there, which is pretty cool. And let's have a look. Firing up Firefox, and well, that's quite quick. Brings up the usual for the first run. Just going to go to a uh, the best YouTube channel in the world, and there's no bias there. This isn't the fastest computer in the world, so there is a slight um, laggy there. And in case you want to know, the version number is, if I can find it, 70.0. I just want to show you something else with LibreOffice. One thing I noticed when I wanted to print is that it picks up my network printer without any configuration. Absolutely brilliant. And to me, that's 10 out of 10. Because Cups is already installed, Cups is already configured to listen out for network printers, it picks it up straight away. Excellent. I like that. And also, as a bonus, I just want to show you just how many packages are available for GhostBSD. 32,779. That's quite impressive. So if there's anything that you want on GhostBSD, the chances are they'll probably have it. My thoughts on GhostBSD. Well, yes, yeah, GhostBSD 19.10 Mate. Changes since 19.09, the UEFI multi-boot installation for supported hardware has been updated. Changes to the ISO boot-up setup and removed net mount services. So if you've got an existing installation, you just upgrade the usual way. And if you're a new user, grab the latest one. GhostBSD continues to be an excellent desktop operating system, showcasing what FreeBSD and TrueOS has to offer. It really is uh, It really is fantastic. And they've improved so much over the last few years that I can actually recommend them wholeheartedly to new users, knowing that they'll get a good experience and a favourable impression of FreeBSD. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing as this really helps me help you.